Columbus Award is also to honor Boylan graduates who have graduated in the past 15 years and they're being recognized for their outstanding achievement academically, professionally, and through the service to her community as well as to her church. I'd like to ask Janine Dapson to please come forward to introduce Caroline. For those of you that know me, I'm not Janine Dabson. <laughs> she suddenly came down with a case of laryngitis. My name is Jenny Jensen, class of 68. I'm a cousin of Caroline Casho, and I'm very honored to represent her sister, Teresa, who nominated her for this award. Teresa can't be here tonight because she is in Austin, Texas, attending the university there, but I know that her thoughts are with Caroline tonight. So on behalf of Teresa, I will read the statement she has written. Caroline has always had two strong qualities, being a follower of God and being a powerhouse of a woman. Since she was little, she was able to grab the attention of others with whatever she had to say. Whether it was nonsense of clapping your hands on the playground for no good reason, or expressing ideas about the future. First attending St. Peter's Cathedral School, Caroline has been raised with a strong understanding of faith. After graduating from Boylan, Caroline got her degree from DePaul University in Chicago, where, among other things, she worked as a rape victim advocate. Caroline does what God calls her to do by giving back to her community and school. She volunteers at St. Anthony Church, St. Ambrosio Society, and Boylan. She was nominated for the Frank Ware Award of Excellence by the United Way for her outstanding volunteer work. Caroline goes above and beyond to express her faith and uses her education to better the community and help others grow closer to God. Although she is no longer persuading children to clap their hands, she is still affecting others by letting her education and faith shine. And so I am very honored and very proud to introduce my little cousin, Caroline Casho, as the young alumnus. one and you're done guys <laughs> so I I have to say I'm forever grateful um, and thankful that I was able to have the Catholic education in my life um, and I have to thank my parents especially my mom for the sacrifices that they made so that I could attend um, both st. Peter's and Boylan um, I, I truly credit my Catholic education um, for the faith-based life that I live now. I don't know where my faith life would be if I hadn't had that education every day in my life. That meant a lot to me. Um, and I credit that for um, the career that I've chosen in social services. There was a time <laughs> when I was younger, um, we were struggling a lot. And my mom, my sister, myself, and my sick grandfather were sharing a two-bedroom apartment. And we weren't sure if we were going to be able to go to St. Peter's the next year. Um, it wasn't looking good. I didn't want to leave my friends. Um, an anonymous, oh, anonymous donor sent my sister and I to school that year. So that really influenced me. And at the age of 10, I kind of made the decision that I was going to do that for someone else in the future. And while I can't do it financially yet, I'll volunteer my time and, uh, and work up to it. Um, I started volunteering with the alumni board through the phone a back in 2008, a year after I had graduated. And that it was through my work with them that my good friend Frank Haney introduced me to this boomerang concept. We have a lot of bright students here in Rockford, and they graduate and they go on to these great universities, but then they never come back. And so we were trying to figure out how we could get these students back. Um, and I'll admit, I was one of those kids that thought I was going to go to Chicago, 
and I was never coming back to Rockford. Um, and that kind of opened up some conversation in my own head, and uh, I decided I was going to come back to Rockford and work in social services, and I've been happy that I have. Stayed connected while I was in Chicago, and then uh, moved back as soon as I graduated. And it's been great, and I'm so thankful um, for that, because I'm, I'm very happy to be back in Rockford and to be working with the Boylan Alumni Association. And uh, as you can see, Boylan influenced me long after I graduated, and I think it'll, it'll influence me from here on out. So, thank you.